In this video, let's see the first numerical problem based on the concept of differentiation of one function with respect to another. Let's see what the question is. It says differentiate sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square with respect to tan inverse x. And the condition imposed on x is that x lies between minus 1 and 1. Now we know that there are two functions and both are the functions in x or they have the variable involved which is x. The first function is named as u for our convenience, the second function as v. Let's start the solution. I write the heading solution. So, if my u is sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square and my v is tan inverse x, you have to basically find out du upon dv. For du upon dv, for du upon dv, we have to find out du upon dx upon dv upon dx as we started in the previous video. Now what is du upon dx means the differentiation of u with respect to x. You see that it can be solved by differentiation using trigonometric substitution as we started in the previous video. So let's make this as equation number 1 and let's deal again with u. Substitute x is equal to tan theta. Why tan theta? Because I say that it is a square plus x square type. Now out of tan and cot, which to choose, you have started how to go about thinking process in the previous video. So let's start by substituting it in u. So what happens? My u becomes sin inverse 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Now see why I substituted this. Had I substituted cot theta, no formula would have occurred. But now 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sin 2 theta that we know. Now sin and sin inverse should be cancelling. But can they cancel? That is clear from the condition imposed. Let's look at it again. It says minus 1 to 1 is where x lies. I have 2 theta. And here I had substituted x is equal to tan theta. When x is equal to tan theta, I basically say that my tan theta lies between minus 1 to 1. Right? Now, what about theta? Theta should be tan inverse minus 1 here, tan inverse 1 here. Tan inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 4. Tan inverse 1. Tan inverse 1 is basically pi by 4. Let's write in the next step. So, I have minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 for theta, for theta. Now, but here it was theta, but here after cancellation, I get 2 theta. So, 2 theta will be what? 2 theta means 2 into this whole thing. 2 into this whole thing. I hope you are following. Now, 2 into getting cancelled. So, it says my theta should be lying or my basically 2 theta should be lying somewhere in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That is important to know where actually my 2 theta lies, where actually the angle is supposed to be there. So it is like that. Now 2 theta is there. What is theta? Theta is tan inverse x. So it is 2 tan inverse x. That is equation number 2. So basically my u is 2 tan inverse x. But what did we want to find? We wanted to find out du by dx. So let's continue. I say my du by dx is equal to the differentiation of equation number 2 with respect to x. So it is 2 upon 1 plus x square. That happens for tan inverse x differentiation 1 upon 1 plus x square. Now du by dx has been done. Let's make it equation number 3. And here we needed to find out dv by dx. Straight away you can find out here only dv by dx is differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x which is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Let's name this as equation number 4. Now putting the values of 3 and 4 in equation number 1, now you know what to do. Put 3 and 4 in 1, I have my final answer which is du by dv du by dv is equal to du upon dx. Where is du upon dx? The third thing, third equation. 
upon dv. dv is what? dv is 1, 1 plus x square. What things cancel? 1, 1 plus x square is there. These cancel. So my answer is 2. So now you see that how important it is to know the formulas of inverse trigonometric functions as well to solve the questions based on differentiation.